Saima and her family fled Pakistan in September 2009 for Thailand, a country they have never been. She said her husband was prosecuted for a crime he didn't commit because he was an Ahmadi. In Pakistan, Ahmadis cannot call themselves Muslims. They are considered heretical by mainstream Muslims and face increasing threats of violence. Last May, gunmen killed 86 worshippers during Friday prayers in two Ahmadi mosques in Lahore. In Indonesia too, their mosques and houses have been burned and followers killed. I am the master degree of uh, political science from the Punjab University of Lahore, but I have no job because I am, I am the Muslim. When I am going to any institution for job, he says, because you are an MD, I have no job for you. My husband and my class fellows and the class fellows. When we go to an, uh, any government institution, private institution, they refuse us. When my husband has the problem and uh, I tell my son have very disturbed, you know, what happened, why we go to Thailand? I tell, and my husband also tell, we go to Thailand for safety of your father. And we come Thailand. And in, when we live in Thailand and the children are thin, they are very safe and they enjoy their life. While waiting for the refugee status, they were arrested last December, along with 80 other Ahmadis. Thailand hasn't signed the 1951 Refugee Convention and considers them illegal immigrants. Saima's family spent close to six months at the Immigration Detention Center in Bangkok. There was a lot of problems in every case. The first problem was that my family जो थी मेरे चार बच्चे थे सबसे बड़ा बच्चा तेरह साल का और छोटा चार साल का वो चारों को मेरे साथ रहने की इजाजत नहीं थी और एक माँ के लिए ये सबसे बड़ी तकलीफ की बात होती है कि उसके छोटे छोटे बच्चों को उससे लेदा कर दिया जाए। On 6th June, the Thai Committee for Refugees, or TCR, put up a $160,000 bond for the release of 96 Ahmadis, including 33 children and a newborn baby. Mainly, I am very thankful TCR. They help us to build out. The 6th June, we are very happy. We, this is the happiness day of my family and all in these families. When my family meet me, and I think never separate again. They now live in two blocks of flats in a quiet Bangkok neighborhood as they wait to be resettled in a third country. But their worries are far from over. We have a financial problem, we have educational problem, we have no freedom, and now we have bailed out. And if we go to the, any stores, any banks, when we have no passport, they, they see us. You are a criminal, but we say we are not criminal. And we want to survive a respectable life. Respectable life, like a, a full of uh, uh, safety, full of freedom, and full of respect. My four-year-old sons, I tell, now we are refugee, and maybe we go to America, and he is not, uh, he is feel afraid and not happy, and he's telling to me, no, we don't want to go America. Uh, he tell me, no, when we go to America, and then the immigration of America again arrest us, and then we go to American go to jail. Saima says she's afraid for the future of her children. For the past two years, they haven't had a proper education. She is hoping the authorities will soon resettle her family to a third country where they can live in peace and dignity.